Welcome everyone to Rise of Flight. We are back. This time we're going to do a mission for squadron number 48. Uh, 48 was a form formed in 15th of April 1916 in Netherhaven. Uh, moved to France in March 1917 as the first unit equipped with the Bristol Fighter. Uh, number 48's very first patrol met with disaster as four out of its six F2As were shot down. Manfred von Richthofen's Albatross D3s of Yasta 11. Victoria Cross recipient William Leaf Robinson, uh, who was leading the flight, was shot down and captured. And a fifth aircraft was badly damaged. More flexible, aggressive tactics soon proved that the Bristol was effective in air-to-air -air combat. And the pilots of... Number 48 Squadron would hence have success with the type and remain months of the, in the remaining months of the war. So here we are. The date has moved on since our earlier days. We'll have a quick look. Here we are. We're on March 17th, 1918. So much later than we have been with the uh, the previous missions. There's been a couple of missions gone out today, uh, not that we've been involved with. We had a failure of a balloon attack earlier on um, with two injuries, it would seem. And a reconnaissance, which seemed to go okay. Now we have an offensive line patrol at 20 minute, 28 minutes past four in the afternoon. Philip Smith will be leading this one with Marcus Clark, Ethan Green, ourself, and Nicholas Lawrence coming up the rear, as it so to speak. Okay, so here we are. Mission briefing. The offensive patrol. Um, March 17th, 1918. Squadron 48. Good visibility, mainly sunny with scattered cloud. Wind at ground level, north northwest, 3 meters per second. Engage and destroy any enemy aircraft or observation balloons that you encounter in your patrol route. Take off, 1628. Right, let's get this over with. So we'll head to the hangar and we'll have a look at the aircraft that we'll be flying. Here it is. Um, it's quite a beauty. The Bristol. F2B F3. Look at this. Baby, isn't she? She's quite a she's quite a nice looking aircraft. Actually, we've got different paint schemes. Squadron forty eight. We've got the uh, twin white stripes. We'll go with that. And see the um, the rear wing is slightly lower than the actual chassis of the main body of the aircraft. You can see the discoloration on the actual exhaust pipe there. She's uh, she's quite a beautiful aircraft actually. Um, let's see what goodies we can have. We can have, um, oldest refractor type sight, okay. Uh, fuel gauge, we better have one of those. And a cockpit light, nice. Oh, we have some difference in guns. So, we've got what looks to be t two twin Lewis guns on the rear. What's this then? We've got, uh, twin overwing. Oh, hang on. Two overwing mounted Lewis gun machine guns. Additional Lewis machine guns with a adjustable vertical angle. And we can have a single... Uh, holy mackerel, look at that. We've got four Lewis guns on our aircraft. Hang on, does this have... We've got bombs as well. Does this have... Um, I know it's got these two overwings. Does it have uh, a normal forward firing gun? I'm guessing it must have. That's pretty sweet. Um, and we can have a single Lewis on the rear. No, we'll have twin on the rear. This might be a bit heavy, but we're going to give it a go. Um, we'll get the green scarf, yeah, green streamer, which we can't select yet. Design of the Bristol started in March 1916 as an intended replacement for the BE-2 seater series. It was designed as a reconnaissance aircraft, but additionally, the new type was also good, are going to have a capability of carrying out scout patrols. It was supplied with dual controls, wireless radio camera equipment, and armed with a fixed Vickers firing gun firing through the cowling. Let's have a look at that then. Ah, is that it there? Or is it just above, which we can't quite see? It must be that. Otherwise, I can't see where it would be. Um, and a rear turret with one or two Lewis guns. The first prototype flew in September 1916, equipped with a Rolls-Royce Mark I engine. 
After successful trials, the aircraft went into production. The first combat unit equipped with Bristol's to arrive in France was number 48 Squadron, Hazar, which arrived at the front of March the 8th, 1917. Uh, the first offensive patrol was flown April the 5th, but proved to be a disastrous debut, uh, which we already, we've already we already read about that, haven't we? Being shot down. Failure happened mostly due to old tactics being used by the first British pi Bristol pilots. As they used it to fly in close formation, only the defensive tactics. But later, as pilots gained combat experience, the Bristol proved to be a superior combat machine when used against fighter plane. It looks quite big and cumbersome for a fighter. Later on, some changes were made to the Bristol airframe, and it was also supplied with new Falcon 2 and Falcon 3 engines. Whereupon, it was redesigned as the Bristol F-2B and became one of the best, if not the best, two-seater fighter in the Great War. Wow. Due to the shortage of Rolls-Royce Falcon engines, uh, a wide variety of engines were installed, such as the 300 brake power Hispano, uh, the RAF 4A Sunbeam, Arab and the Liberty engines. Fast with a good climb rate, uh, rugged, very fast in dives and flown by aggressive and experienced pilots, Bristol soon became feared by the enemy opponents. Usually German pilots chose to evade Bristol's if the Germans did not have the superior numbers. The most successful Bristol ace who flew F2Bs as a pilot, Andrew Edward McKeever, from number 11 squadron scored an impressive 31 kills flying bristols however his record was overshadowed by that of the highest scoring observer ace of the war charles george gas i think that is uh, who scored 39 kills while flying a bristol as a bristol gunner bloody hell bloody hell um well ex Selling as a fighter, the Bristol also capable of being a good ground attack aircraft and could carry 45 pound, sorry, 450 pounds of bombs on external racks. Some of the Bristols were also equipped with negative lens bomb sights. Being a very successful aircraft, Bristol fighters were used by the RAF squadrons throughout the 1920s. Uh, a total of 3,101 Bristol fighters were produced up until the end of 1918. So engine, we got uh, one times V-type, twelve-cylinder Rolls-Royce Falcon two and three, power horsepower Falcon two is two hundred fifty-five at two thousand RPM, and the Falcon three is two hundred eighty-five at two thousand two hundred RPM. And you got the dimensions, weights, and all that kind of jazz there. So thousand-meter climb is three minutes twenty-six without bomb loads. 33 minutes to get up to 5,000 feet. Oh, 5,000 meters, I beg your pardon. That's, that's, there's quite a difference. Wow. That's quite... This is quite a... Able machine. Um, I'm just wondering... If we... Come back into the hangar. There we go. Can we drop the, the bombs? I don't think we necessarily need the bombs, do we? Because we're on a... We're on a Ammo paint scheme. How do we? How do we? Here we go. Uh, just the guns. There we go. Uh, maybe we can carry two small. Oh, two. Well, I say two small. Two. Uh, two bombs, and we can drop them should we need to uh, get into a dogfight. Yes. Right. Let's um, give this baby a whirl. First time I'll be flying this, so I'm quite excited. All right, we're just firing up the engine. Oh, look at this. We've got some throttle controls. And they don't appear to have bombs, so um, I may have made a bit of a... They're going. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she's a bit... Let's get the nose up, or well, nose down, tail up, should I say. Get some speed. Ooh. Okay, she's quite forgiving. Well, I don't know. We're, we're kind of at a jaunty angle, aren't we? For some reason, that's the default view, which is obviously for the gun sight. That's a little bit uh, crazy. 
So we've got a couple of Lewis guns up there. And we've got Sebastian back here, looking a little bit grey and pale. I think he's a bit nervous. And he's got um, his mounted two Lewis guns there as well. Right, um, visibility isn't the best in here, is it? Wow, that's as far out as I can zoom. Oh, we've got a little hatch there so we can see below, which is pretty cool. Uh, got some aircraft up here, so we're going to join up formation and head out to our patrol route. Um, once we're over enemy lines, we'll drop these two bombs because it's slowing us down quite a lot, actually. Don't want to drop them over friendly territory, of course. Uh, so we'll press on, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, Sebastian still isn't feeling any better about this, but at least he's got a little bit more colour in his cheeks, so it's not too bad. Um, this is one hell of an aircraft, actually. You can see the size of this engine, it's huge. Uh, you can see the rest of the squadron up ahead. Um, we are running a little bit heavy because of the bomb load, but we are coming over um, no man's land now, as you can see. Some trenches over there. Um, yeah, we're on the western front map. There's the uh, friendly trenches down there. So as we come over here, we'll uh, we see the uh, trenches through the bomb site. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll drop the bombs here, I think. I can't remember how to do that. Okay, bomb's gone. That should be lighting the load a lot. It was near the enemy trenches. It wasn't a, a direct hit, but that's fine. It was just a jetson, really, but um, it's all good. Hopefully we can now start gaining on our uh, squad mates. Should give us the uh, opportunity to get back into formation and have the defensive uh, formation of the, their guns as well as ours. But so far, Nothing much happening. Uh, there you go. We, you can see we're coming into uh, a closer formation with these guys straight away, which is good news. Um, it could be also mean that they've seen something which I haven't, so I'm not quite there yet. But we're going to press on. We're over the front line. We're in enemy territory, so uh, anything can happen in the next few minutes. So stay, stay alert. Keep your eyes on the skies. So I'll bring you back if anything exciting develops. So I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, we've kind of fanned out a bit. Um, there's the lead there, so we're just staying on lead's tail. I'm going to actually get rid of this um, site, I think. It's actually causing me a little bit of uh, issues with my um, visibility. So let's pop the Lewis gun. You can see it goes through the uh, cowling there. They're banking away, let's follow them. Oh, I thought I had a target then, it's just a bit of grub on the screen. Oh, I still need to buy those screen wipes, most definitely, causing all, all sorts of um, heart palpitations. Always need to keep your screen nice and clear. Sebastian's enjoying the ride, look, he's, um, he's chilled out a little bit. Wait, 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 what's going on? We have fighters, we're engaged. Come on, Sebastian, get to your station. What are, we, what are we engaged with? This feels like a heavy, slow bomber. These look like, I'm not sure, albatrosses, are they? Let's try and get involved. It's friendly. Sebastian, come on, to your station, man. Yeah, visibility isn't the best in this. 
I'm, I'm stalking one of my own boys. That's not very good. Yeah, it does feel like we are fighting in a very large aircraft. It's like when I used to go fighting in the Bristol Blenheims. You can't throw them around as, as much as like a Hurricane or a Spitfire, but it's still quite good fun. Come on, let's bring our guns to bear. Stay over there. Ah, Sebastian's woken up. Hazard. things you set track eye up perfectly before the game and then when you come good god that was close <laughs> oh god it's the gun coming across I wonder what the hell that was then that scared the living daylights out of me oh there he is this aircraft actually maneuvers quite nicely I remember I've got my top guns as well. Steady, got no aircraft coming in. In here, can't see him. There he is. He's bugging out. Right, we're coming in. Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Nice! Well done, boys. Well done, Sebastian. We've survived our first attack. Is there any more of them? There's something behind us gone. Oh, this aircraft is quite a beauty, actually. She's rugged. She's a bit of a handful. She's not a quick steer, but she is quite a stable aircraft, for sure. What have we got coming in over there? They don't look like friendlies. Sebastian, on your toes. On your toes, Sebastian. That's it. That's it. We need to get up there. Oh, hello. Somebody wants to come and play. Get him, Seb. Oh, I keep thinking that's an aircraft coming across me. It scares the hell out of me every time. Here we go. Those guns up. Uh, we are an absolute. We must be the first flying fortress because look at the guns we've got on this thing. This is heavily armed for this time of the uh, aerial combat. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. No. Not good. More aircraft. Yeah, visibility is the only downside to this aircraft, I would say. I'd like a bit more visibility. Oh, right into the sun. No. This 
this aircraft maneuvers lovely actually. Ah, guns are fast. The time you hit the trigger, the uh, the guns fire about two seconds later. You can see, but you get such little notice because of the uh, the poor visibility. I can hear a drone of an engine. Oh god, I'm making myself feel sick doing this. Yeah, okay, we're not quite as maneuverable as a. Um, Oh, there he is. Couldn't see that because that bloody gun sight. Track I asked not giving me the full maneuvering on my head anymore for some reason. While all the battle is raging on, we've got this personal little skit going on with this guy. Oh! Oh! Sniper shot! Did you see that? You're impressed. I can tell you're impressed. Oh, yes. Okay, fine. Uh, next one. You know, he's sulking now because I got him and he didn't. Alright, let's um, get these guns and head it back up high, see if we can get these guys. Are you, uh. Okay, he's sulking. That's fine. Um, they look like friendlies with some flak, some barrage balloon, or a observation balloon. I think we may have got away from them. If that was the only engagement, that has been quite a successful engagement. Still something. Right, uh, let's have a look at these aircraft in front, make sure they are, are they, they're forming up. Yep, it's all gone quiet over there. So, um, yeah, we'll get back, hopefully land this thing. Never land one of these things to say first flight as well. So uh, first impressions, very stable gun platform this aircraft. She's a little bit sluggish compared to the lighter, smaller fighters, but she is an absolute joy to fly. Where is he going for the balloon? Looks like he went for the balloon, but didn't get there. Right, we're going to press on and hopefully um, get back for some tea and medals. This is flat behind us. I thought there may be an aircraft. Uh, and I'll see you if anything exciting happens. It's a balloon. Okay, we're going to reform up and I'll see you in a bit. Uh, welcome back. Um, we've had a bit of a problem. Yeah, we got hit by flak. Um, oh dear. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, that would have been a fantastic mission, but so unfortunately, the career of Taff in our Bristol ends prematurely after a good start we're taken out by some German flak as our pieces of our wing flutter down behind us so there we are two kills but we were killed in the process honestly the old Akak got us not good but that's what happens you know you can't always uh take for granted that you're going to get home once the action stops we were just rejoining formation I uh, just you know let the autopilot take over to fly in formation so I can concentrate on video stuff and 
boom, next thing you know it, we're down. And I'm desperately trying to get the record going again. <sighs> These things happen. Uh, we may well come back to the Bristol because that was quite a pleasant aircraft to fly. And I still haven't got the chance to land one yet. So we may have another go at the Bristol. Uh, maybe 48 Squadron again. We may have another retry of this one. That's been the Bristol. Uh, first impressions have been very positive. Uh, and I may very well give it a go once more. If we do... Well, we are going to be doing a career. And I'm just playing around with some aircraft. I've done the Eindecker. I've done the Bristol. I'm going to fly a couple of other aircraft, see which ones I want to do a career on. And it may well be the Bristol that we uh, will take up. Um, obviously, I have got the, the Eindecker series, which you have three or four videos in. I might do a few more of those, because that's quite an interesting aircraft to fly at the same time. So we may res maybe we'll have two series going, and we'll we'll have a, a Bristol series and an Eindecker series, and we'll run them you know, vice versa, so you get two different sides of the story, as it were. Obviously, slightly different periods in the war, but you, you get the idea. Um, so we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, sorry it wasn't the ending that we all hoped for, but um, war is hell. War is hell. Uh, and it was just a little exploratory mission with the uh, the Bristol to see how she flies. And I'm impressed. So we'll see more of her, no doubt. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit that thumbs up if you have. Let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video. That would really uh, help boost the channel and the video. And if you haven't already, consider about hitting that subscribe button and getting all the latest video feeds into your YouTube feed if you hit the bell. So I will see you next time.